Hi, this is an example problem for the two types of algebraic symmetries common in the AMC. So let's take a look at what we have. If x, y, and z are positive numbers satisfying the three equations shown, then the term x times y times z is equal to what? Now what I notice is that the target expression is a symmetric polynomial in three variables. And what that means is that we can exchange any pair of variables and the expression stays the same. And that should prove very helpful. Now the three given equations involve the same algebraic form on the left hand side and it looks like all combinations of two variables are cycled through this form. So these are sometimes called cyclic terms and that too should come in handy as we get further into the problem. Now we have three equations and three unknowns so in principle we could possibly solve for x, y, and z but uh, that's almost never a good idea in the AMC. So instead, we should try to manipulate these cyclic terms to create expressions that match the symmetry of the target expression. And that's what we're going to try to do in this problem. So let's see how we can proceed. Now, one obvious manipulation to work with these cyclic expressions is to just add all three equations together. And that will almost certainly create expressions that match the symmetry of the target expression. So let's go ahead and do that. So adding all three equations together, that's pretty simple. We just end up with uh, x plus y plus z is equal to 4, 5 plus 7 thirds. That's 22 thirds. Okay, so we haven't actually achieved the exact term that we're looking for, but it looks like we've achieved the symmetry that we're looking for, and that the terms on the left-hand side are symmetric with, re with respect to the exchange of any two variables, and I think that's a step in the right direction. Now, one other obvious manipulation is to take the product of these cyclic terms, and that too should generate expressions that match the symmetry of the target expression. So let's go ahead and do that. equal to 4 times 1 times 7 thirds, 28 thirds. Okay, expanding this product, we have xyz plus 1 over x times 1 over y times 1 over z. So already this looks very encouraging in that we're actually generating expressions or terms that match the uh, target expression. So that's a good sign. So continuing, we have uh, x times 1 over z times 1 over x, that's 1 over z, y times 1 over y times 1 over x, that's 1 over x. And continuing, plus z plus 28 over 3. So now we're in really good shape. We have uh, terms that match the target expression, and we also have some other symmetries that also match the desired uh, symmetry of the target expression. And in fact, we've actually generated terms that match the very first equation. So this uh, allows for very obvious substitution. We can substitute 22 over 3 for this group of terms to find that uh, xyz plus 1 over xyz is equal to 28 over 3 minus 22 over 3, that's 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. And this looks very helpful now. So at this point, we could just do some uh, guess and check. Uh, xyz plus 1 over xyz is equal to 2. Uh, it's pretty easy to guess that uh, xyz is probably equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 over 1 is equal to 2. Uh, if you can't actually see that, uh, the more proper way is to make a variable substitution say p is equal to xyz, substitute that in to generate the quadratic equation p plus 1 over p is equal to 2, p squared minus 2p plus 1 is equal to 0, p minus 1 squared is equal to 0, p is equal to 1, and of course p is equal to xyz, and that is choice b. So anyway, a pretty helpful problem, uh, pretty straightforward if you 
recognize the two types of symmetry that you're trying to work with. And as I said, these two types of symmetry are pretty common in the AMC and you should try to learn to recognize them. So I hope that was helpful and uh, please check out the description section of the symmetry video for more tips and practice problems and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.